RealEstateInvestor.com presents Investing Tips Will the Homeowner Owe Money? by Colin Egbert with Hope Hammond. The homeowners need to know what will happen before, during, and after the short sale. In fact, one of their main concerns will be whether or not they will still owe money on the mortgage after you successfully close the short sale deal. The simple answer is that the homeowner will owe money, but not as much as with a defaulted mortgage. In a short sale deal, the investor negotiates a purchase price lower than the amount of the homeowner's mortgage on the property. For example, the homeowner may still owe $100,000 on the property, but you will negotiate with the bank to purchase that property for $70,000. This gives you a discount of $30,000 on that property, but the bank and the homeowners still need to deal with that remaining debt. The bank has two options for dealing with the remainder of the mortgage debt. The bank can either seek to sue the homeowner for that remaining debt by seeking a foreclosure deficiency judgment, or they can send out a, a 1099 form calling that $30,000 income for the homeowner. A bank can file for a foreclosure deficiency judgment against the homeowners after completing the short sale deal. Both parties must show up in court and it's very much like being sued. If the judgment is awarded, the court will declare that the homeowners still officially owe the bank the remaining $30,000. During negotiations, you can sometimes get the bank to opt not to file for a foreclosure deficiency judgment. Most banks don't want to kick the homeowners while they're down. If you can prove financial hardship, the bank usually agrees not to file for the judgment. Dealing with the deficiency judgment if a foreclosure deficiency judgment is filed against the homeowner, the homeowner may also be able to negotiate another short sale deal with the bank on that deficiency. So the bank would accept a partial payment on the deficiency judgment and call it payment in full on the homeowner's credit. Sometimes you'll be able to get the bank to agree to send out the 1099 form and even sign a waiver guaranteeing this. Most times, however, they will not put anything into writing, but will make a verbal promise not to go after the homeowner. If you are able to get the bank to send out the 1099 form instead of filing for a foreclosure deficiency judgment, the homeowners will still need to deal with the IRS. The amount on the 1099 form has to be reported by the homeowners to the IRS as income for this year. So naturally, the homeowners will need to pay taxes on that income listed by the 1099 form. The homeowner probably hasn't earned enough income in the year prior to the sale of their home for the 1099 form to have a significant impact on their taxes. The IRS requires 10% of all income, at least. So the homeowner would only owe about $3,000 on that remaining debt of thirty grand. All in all, not a bad deal. Here are some final tips when speaking with the homeowner. Recommend to the homeowner that he or she speak with an accountant. The homeowner may qualify for an exemption on the 1099 based on their financial hardship. Often banks are so busy with red tape that the 1099 is never sent. To learn more about what happens after the short sale, head to shortsaleinvesting.org.